Pick up, pick up, listen, listen. Welcome to it. It's a Bizo. We have another session underway. It's your boy, Tabiso. Tabza Wana, Tabza Makolite. I want to thank each and every one of you that has been watching our videos and sharing. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And check us out on the socials. It's at Imbizo ZA. I've got my team with me today. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Today we're going to be discussing a very interesting topic. We're talking about toxic people. Do you know any toxic people? Is there such thing as being toxic? And how do you deal with toxic people? Are you toxic yourselves? We don't know. Let's unpack it. First of all, let me ask a question to both of you. Do you guys think you are toxic? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. I think I think it's 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 unrealistic to say that you don't have uh, toxic traits or you don't have some form of um, negativity or flaws uh, when it comes to your behavior and the kind of person that you are. So yes, we all have toxic traits, but some people display the toxicity more than the actual goodness that they put together. So I think that's where it becomes a problem, and it's the toxic is bigger than the goodness or greater than the goodness and that's where the problem comes in but we all have toxic behaviors or toxic traits i think yeah so apparently you're saying that my, my, one of my bad traits you're automatically toxic i'm saying we've got toxic traits toxic traits, bad traits how you want to call it. <clears throat> something bad can be toxic something toxic is bad that's literally what I'm saying, Ebo. I'm saying we all have negative traits that can be deemed as toxic or that can actually, um, that can, like, that can kill people's dreams, that can make people feel depressed, that can um, pull ourselves down as well, Ebo. We all have the, the potential or we all have that light and darkness in all of us. But some people let the darkness prevail and that's how you become a full on toxic person, you know? Sure. So that's what I'm saying. Basically, we're all toxic, but I don't agree. Toxic, spendule. Are you toxic? I mean, I don't think I'm toxic, Joe. I don't think I display those toxic traits. I <laughs> I refuse to be called with that trash. Hey? Stop acting like you're seated at the right hand of the father. You've got toxic behavior. Okay. I am seated at the right hand of the father, but I do have toxic. Yeah, I was just saying. Okay, but yeah, the, the, the thing is, I think, I, I agree with Apelele, we are all toxic. We all have toxic traits. And I think the biggest thing with, with, with this whole being toxic thing is that a lot of people focus on other people's traits rather than oneself. Whereas if people took the time to really find out, so what is toxic about me? And understanding that and what triggers that, you, you get into a better position to sort of control your, your, your poison so that you don't spread it to other people. You, you, th- that's the emotional intelligence that you guys always talk about, being self-aware and knowing good As Tabi said, I've got quite a sharp tongue. I've got this ego thing that comes every now and then, and I, I just have a fuck, fuck, you know. So, and sometimes you say things to people in that, in that moment that may make people to feel bad about themselves. But so when you understand that, you at least know what we as mom is now and then, young child, and you don't do that. Because uh, for me, um, the, my toxic behavior is, um, since you put yours out there, um, with the, I know that I'm very stubborn, Ebo, um, and then, Sometimes I've, I've got this whole mode on attitude because I just don't want to be told because yeah, well, I, I, yeah, well, because I've got a bit of an ego as well, yeah, well. So um, and then I also have a bit of victim mentality, yeah, well, where I feel like I'm wrong, and I feel oh that was an unfair, well, oh this is a personal attack, and I think about me. Um, and then that, I know that that is a part of because what happens is if you've got those that thinking and you've got certain behaviors that can create a problem in your head and then you start then, um, the thing is with toxic behavior and things like this you start then um reflecting that onto people and then you start blaming other people and you start calling other people out for your own shit. 
ever. So that's why that's how it, 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 it needs to be pulled out and it needs to be pulled out. So Kesha, there's no way that you can sit there and say that you don't have toxic behaviors or you don't have negative things or you might find a good thing. People don't call you out on it. That's why you must call yourself out. Because not everyone's going to tell you the truth. Because the backside of the traditional liar I think I think we are. I think maybe we're not on the same uh, team. Maybe wavelength, but uh, maybe we're running in in a parallel. Abon. But I hear you. What you're saying, Muti. We've got uh, bad faith about ourselves that we we know about. I want. And for example, minangling. You know what I mean? Like angling, like fuck, fuck. I mean, maybe there's a to- toxic thing about about it. That, that, that's a behavior, okay? It's, it's a behavior. It's toxic. It, it's a behavior. But there's something that we actually, when we live something, then we are, then we're doing it. One, it's an action. Then you are toxic. Then there's something that's. You, are you toxic or do you have toxic uh, things about yourself? Maybe we can, maybe come in toxic. It's a bit kind of a bit too raw. One, maybe we've got bad traits about ourselves. Maybe. You, when only I'm a little only toxic, but then when you actually actually living out those those values about yourself, those traits that you have about yourself, then you are intoxicating around you and and people that you are close to, and that's that's the problem. A corner, I think, in in our community, because we okay. Live. Let me ask you a question, Kevin. Yeah. So you need to choose with you what what kind of life do you, what kind of life do you want to live, what kind of values do you want to show out there. What kind of fruits do you want to bear, Abon? Because we all have fruits within us, Abon. Fruits of the spirits, fruits of the flesh. That's a lot. But then fruits of the flesh. Our When they fuck for, ne? Yeah, like, cause that, like, tell me so, okay, sure. Cool one, fanangit, yeah. And like So, 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 it's good to fuck for, yeah, but does it mean, even when you are wrong, our ling? Ah, no, I, I'm sure, Anja, I'm sure, Anja. That's why I'm asking. I'm showing you to show and I'm asking. So it's no. Okay. In that case, you get. In that case, you're not toxic because I mean, sometimes, Pella, I'm a, I'm a trade to it. It's not. You you do something, and you will be wrong, and you know that you are wrong. But because of your ego, you go on to say I'm wrong, but you are damaging the next person. Exactly. Exactly. And you don't realize it. Yeah, boss. So so that's why. I think that's that's the, the whole point of this discussion. You see, we do have those actions made. Some of them we know them. Some of them we don't know them yet. We still yet to find them out. Those traits that we do and they harm the next person. And the older we get, is the more we uncover more of them about us. And that's why when I started this, I say, I think the biggest thing is that people tend to focus right now. If you had to, if I'm to challenge each and every one of you guys to tell me. My, 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 my traits that you feel are bad or toxic, whatever word we use, mm. you will find that you can list uh, five of them in, a, in an instant uh, thing, in a moment now. But if I say, what about yourself? Just give me three. Yeah. Here you start thinking and thinking and thinking because people are not taking the time to introspect. Yeah. But I've got a question, though, like, but then like, when do you know that you are being uh, nothing as a person you say with you and uh, that the thing that you see from around when do you know what you the, the what are you receiving it's it's uh toxic when do you know what you when do you know that with my long corner like i'm feeling like i'm being uh intoxicated like for, for example if you feel your mind i'm feeling a bit dizzy so when do you know what you, someone is, is is toxic towards you when do you know that? Yeah. So, so this thing of, of being toxic, it's something that's under mental health, actually. It's under the umbrella of mental health and, and, and all that. So, so it's a bit of an invisible thing. It usually takes time for you to see it. You see it afterwards, and usually it's late. Or not, not late, but it's done uh, damage on you. Yeah, well, yeah. So it could be like maybe this person is a liar. You know, that's another toxic trait where people are just pathological liars. Like, yeah. The person lies about everything and anything. And, so, and that thing, he went to Gucci Wena, maybe as, as Tabi supports, this person constantly does stuff and then maybe you see it. And then when you ask or confront them, they, because they're good at lying or they just lie about everything, 
they make you seem as if when I, you are the one who's wrong for even asking that. I'm told. And then this happens over time. And then after some time, you, when you finally see it, no man, I've been made to feel as if, whereas you were right from the beginning. You were, you were, you were right, but you've been made to feel as if maybe no man, hey, just over here, hey, you like fighting, hey, why are you even asking that? Hey, you're insecure, hey, you are this. Yeah, well, so yeah. I hope I answered you. I don't know if I answered you. So you're saying when, you know when you start to question your, your, your own question that, that you're asking, you're starting to doubt yourself as a person, which now you, you know which man you're so, sure. so, so compromised. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> For me, uh, I think it's, 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 it's difficult sometimes with e, like this whole toxic thing because it's, it's, it's not a stranger that will be toxic towards you. It'll be your friend. It'll be a family member. It'll be your partner, Abo. And it's so difficult because you always think, but this person cares about me, Abo. And that's why it becomes so important to introspect and actually unlearn the things that you thought you knew about yourself and actually try and figure out who you are because so many of us are walking around thinking we're a certain way because we were told we were like that when we were growing up, Abo. So, 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 I'm, I know I'm stubborn. I know I'm this, I know I'm that. But you're not mm. actually stubborn. It's just because you were told which you were stubborn. Maybe you're more stubborn than your siblings, and then you were labeled the stubborn one, or you were labeled the, the one that talks back. Thank you, you are diplomatic. So there's the certain things that you need to, to, to learn, and, and that's where you actually start to figure out, which, are you toxic one way? Nah? What is it about you that is toxic, and you basically deal with it? And you then are able to realize the behaviors when people try and, because people will always impose their negative stuff on you. So it's important for you to know, it's okay, I'm actually not like that. This is the, this is what it's called um, as what well, this is what uh, it's called gaslighting, and then people will basically then take all their crap and actually throw it on you and say, okay, no, that's you, that's what you are, Abel. So that's also a part of being toxic, Abel. And the thing is that people must understand is it's not a stranger, it's not someone that you don't know, it's someone that you've known for years that is that will actually exude those toxic behaviors and make you doubt yourself, Abel. So that's why it becomes important for you to one actually check yourself out and know who you are first. So when people come mm-hmm. to you and say, "I when I have a big mouth," you know, no, I don't have a big mouth. I'm opinionated, yes, and I'm like this, but I'm not that, Abel. That is you that's got a big mouth. Don't put that on me. You need to learn how to block it because there's toxicity everywhere. Able. And you two can also be very toxic to yourself if you spend a lot of time talking down on yourself, being negative towards yourself. That's also a form of being toxic. Able. That's also a mental health issue. Able. So we, it's, it's a process, but it's important to actually first realize it in yourself. Then it becomes easier to realize it uh, when other people actually do it to you. Kind of like, like simple things where there's a friend that will always ask you for money. They will see what you are struggling, you are not okay, but two will be like, I don't pay so little. And they will, talk, they will manipulate you to a point where you actually feel bad and you actually end up giving a moon to low mile. And when they leave, you actually start realizing, hey, well, that is my last hundred grand that I have just given to this person. And this, I always find myself in this thing when you're like, okay, you're done cutting off people, 2020, 20, new year, new me. That's a part of, that's all a part of those things because you realize what it's wrong, but you don't have the power to stop it. So that's my TED talk around toxic people. Yeah, man, it's 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 hectic. Uh, what you are saying, because I think uh, I think the one thing as 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 human beings that uh, I think once we feel like uh, we are we are compromised and we feel like we're in a in a corner or we are being uh, taken ad- advantage of, it becomes like you you become a very small person. I want to a man like you feel worthless and and it's crazy. And and if I uh, until make an example, you call on. Yeah, because I when I can think as that kind of uh, behavior we receive a one, and then now now exasa when you meet a muto or right and you give the exact same behavior, and it's best like crazy because man you've received that uh, that pain from someone and you don't understand how to deal with those those kind of things. So it's 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 actually something that's quite uh, hectic and it's quite deep, and and hence we have. Our, our 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 country or or especially men in such a state of 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 booty, they can't actually uh continue talk to women or, or to do women right because they've seen with you how how men like them 
treat our fuzzy around them. And in families, and hence we've got a lot of women generates violence in those so because I'm about to bali mailing a part. It's a as you said, it's a mental health issue uh Melis Bain and I as as a country and you know, it's tough. Yeah, it's a deep one. Yeah. So so you see what, what both of you said now, ne? the example you gave about men and what Apelele said about is it gaslighting. And so so we come from a society where I remember when I was still like younger and I was told constantly that all oh, men cheat. Men are a man. I hope you are some you out. Do you understand? And I kept, I kept on saying no, I'm not gonna let that determine Guti, you know, me going to cheat on my partner, even when I don't want to, just because society says all oh, men cheat. But not many people will be like Tabi, so that will take it from that standpoint. I'm told. Because personally, when I did cheat in any relationship that I cheated, I cheated because I wanted to cheat, not because I'm a man or anything like that. And in, in, in one certain relationship, I actually did not cheat at all because I was actually stubbornly refusing that, that thing of saying, no, obviously, out, you must cheat. Or obviously, you are a man, so you are trash. Okay, cool. These men are trash. It's a broader thing, but also we need to be careful of that because people are wearing that and owning it. And even those that are good are now having the need to or to feel the need to be trash or to do uh, certain behaviors that are wrong on purpose. Um, mm. So, but 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 Kaso, how do we how do we deal with the mundo or or feeling like like yeah, compromise or, or toxic towards you? Do we just walk away or do we engage the situation? If things are sebenzi, do we still stay there or? Because Lumunt Law and I only men and uh and us. How do we how do we how do we solve how how do we I think remedy the situation? How do we like you know try and and and, and, and fix things in a, in a society? Because I want to be a men, but how do we do, how, how do we fix that? Uh it depends, Bafo. <clears throat> it depends. So if 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 you are with this person, uh maybe it's a relationship or maybe it's a sister family wise or whatever i mean like um you help them out you yeah. try this is so it depends on how important or significant the person is to you a life in your young toilet so you help them out try to get them as much help as they, that they need if it's some um, psychology if it's you just talking to them and trying to, to also teach them even they are introspect and trying to be aware of their own blind spots then you, you do it. But there are certain people that do not want to be saved. J. Cole says, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. <laughs> so don't waste your time trying to save people that don't want to be saved. Yeah, well, so yeah, it, it's also, it's a, you guys truly. Yeah, you're rough. You're rough. Because my joke, because you're fine. Because like, as you said, a fellow saying, but I want you there, they are stubborn, Jane. Jane would know, you mean you saw her, so and won't change me. Sure. And like, fuck it, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's it's my way or the highway, and manje. Then when you walk away, and you're like, okay, shep, don't think I'm here because then I'm so like fuck fuck I'm so here. Like you know what I mean? I can't have you in my space uh, and uh, and make me feel this kind of ways. And but I I think by you walking away as well, you're actually dam you you're damaging that person because manje. He or she is not is is proving their point. But I want to I want to I want to be used one. I want to be that. So man, like it's it's your it's a catch twenty two, man. Would you walk away? Do you solve the problem? But the corner, it I think it boils down to the person himself. Would you like as muto toxic? Like you know, how do you yeah. do you do where you're where you're wrong? And it's uh, it's it's tough. It's tough, man. And yeah, yeah. And I'm just damning you, like I like I tell, like I tell, because man, I think and, and guys. We don't know how to deal with our emotions. Like, oh, much it apart. As far as cool, and when when we talk, we sit as weak and 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 talking yeah. is the only way to, where it helps. Cool, my but stuff is so. You know, talk. We'll start shit. Yeah, cool line. I need to. I'll just see Valley. I think yeah, it's it's. I mean, my own my chosen remark is is like how I started with this topic. It's it's all about you knowing that you also have something toxic about you. Once you know that, you've already liberated yourself. So you'll find that you'll be open to certain opinions about what people say, maybe when they're trying to show you 
وبتنفع تساعدين كلينتو لأن the way you handle it uh, you could handle it better you 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 can listen to such stuff but if when I you block yourself with your Udi or Nan King or perfect and then uh, you you're not yeah. open to it. but again there's a balance it's, it's not all about listening to what everyone says just like I've been saying because people also just want to come in to be uh, telling you hey hey you've been called narcissist whatever yeah, man. Yeah, right, man. Sure. I, I think for when you when yourself what to we as to then as as quite stuff that's toxic about you. I don't know I was toxic until from that. But it put in this pipe. It's okay. I've learned something I'm trying to reach now. I've got toxic stuff about myself. But if internet is gone, uh, as long as I want to eat and work on them on your on your own and talk to them about your about, about your peers and your and your family, friends, whatever people are close to you, I want you who are honest with you and about come out by themselves because I want to know about you know who they influence. Talk to someone yeah. who will like who's accountable to what you are doing. I want another thing is that if 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 you feel like you are in a place. Where you have been intoxicated, I wanna. Uh, but let's let's try and fix the world. Let's, let's fix let's fix the country, as people would say on Twitter. Let's fix the country because mm. this thing is Kawata in the long run. Hence, we have people who are killing our kids, raping our, our, our girls because now with themselves they were walked away from and they fought. They thought, but they fucked the world, and you know what I mean. Now, but let's just try and save the world, and let's try and be there for. One another and, and love each other and show much love. Let's let's show more good than than evil. Sabo Masavala, thanks. Thank you so. Sure. No man, that was in Bizo. Thank you very much. Please leave us your comments. Let us know what you think. Are you also toxic? And are you playing a role in terms of also helping others that may be toxic and do not know about it? And when we need to just help each other out here, yeah, that was it in Bizo. Follow us on socials. On our social media channels, it's at Imbizo. It's at A. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Sure. See you next time. Cheers. Sure.